Hi, I'm Jim, the Monday Man. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create powerful item template functionality using Integromat. For those of you who make it to the end, I have a little bonus. And if you need help setting up your Integromat account, I have a little video right here you can check out. First thing we're going to start off with is showing you the power that's available by using this feature. All right, let's get started. So here we are in the board that we use when we are creating our Money Man videos. And uh, we wanted an easy way to create the task lists for new videos. So what we came up with is this here is a group that has all the templates that we use. Uh, each of the items and the different types of templates that we have. They have checklists, pin updates. Uh, this one has a, a template file that we use. And then in the sub items, we have uh, tasks that are assigned to different owners, um, additional checklists here and pin updates, uh, more files, default columns, all that. So all of this is available. I'm going to close this. All of this is available now with this feature. So here's how it works. We type in add and then the template name, I'm going to use INT, and then the name of the item that we want. So add oops, items using templates. Hit enter. Now what it's going to do is take that information, send it to the webhook. It's going to delete this item and copy the appropriate um, template, move it to this group, and rename it. And so there you have uh, all of the stuff that we needed. Um, it's got the sub items, the defaulted columns, the files, all of that's in there. Here's the additional files and the assignments are all set. So that's, that's the power that you have available. Now, from here, I'm going to jump right into creating this scenario in Integromat. Here we go. Here we are in our Integromat dashboard, and we're going to create a new scenario in the upper right-hand corner. Start off by naming our scenario, add item using templates, click the add module icon, Type in webhooks with an S. That brings up a short list. And then we select this icon right here. And then custom webhook. Hit escape. And now we're going to add our first Monday module. So come down here and click add. And type in Monday. Select that. And the first one we want to do is list boards groups right here. So click there. We're going to drag this up so it connects to the webhooks module and hit escape. Now we're going to come down and we're going to add the second module, which is search items in the board by column. That's good. We'll just type in SE and then go up there and select one we want. Now we're going to drag this over to connect it to like a Monday module. Auto align down here with the little magic wand and escape. Okay, so now we're going to add the delete or archive a Monday item. And there we go. Select that. Drag it over to connect it. Escape. Now the next one that we want is the execute a graph QL query. The API call that we want to do is not defined in Integromat, so we, we can do anything we want with the API here. So we'll drag this over. Now on this one, we don't want to connect it directly. We're going to use the connector to attach it, and it will automatically create the router module, and then we can auto-align there. Now, the next one that we want to do is to move the item to the proper group. So we're going to move, move an item between groups, drag that over to connect it, auto-align, hit escape. Now we're going to add the update 
column values of a specific item, which is near the top right there. Now I drag that down, and finally we'll auto align this, hit escape. Because it's the right way to do things, we want to document a little bit more what we're doing. So we're going to get groups. We're going to rename each of the modules so we have some more clarity on, on what's happening. The next one is going to be to get the template items. Now we're going to come up and uh, this module deletes the original item that we type in. So delete original item. Now the uh, GraphQL query that we're running is duplicating the template item. This next module is moving the new item to the correct group. And that group is the, the one that we actually add the original item to trigger this scenario. And then finally, the last one, we are going to rename the new item according to the logic that we have. This is also where if you had anything that you wanted to dynamically edit, like a date or that kind of thing, you would put that in this module as well. So the next thing we want to do is add the webhook definition. So we're going to come in here and click add. Put in the name that we want there. Click save. And then now it's listening. We're going to copy our uh, webhook to the clipboard. Come into our Monday board and add the integrations. Click here and type in web, webhooks. Come down here, click this. And we want when a new item is created, select that. Click into the webhook URL, paste in our value, connect. And then add to board. Now we're going to add the second recipe that we want. This is going to be when an item is renamed. So again, type in web, click webhooks, and when an item name changes, send webhook. We're going to pick the same webhook that we used last time and add it to our board. Great, we can close this now. Now our webhook is still listening to get the data structure, so we're going to activate it by adding an item. There we go. And now we can go ahead, it should have the data structure. We're going to go ahead and just delete this since we don't need it. Okay, and then we're going to flip back over to our scenario. Click OK. So the next thing is we want to add in a filter. So it's only executing the rest of the scenario when we have a valid ad request. There we go. Now we're going to flip over to the video description and copy this filter one text value, paste it in there. This, when this is equal to, or I'm going to change this to case insensitive, but that's redundant. Just type in add. Now we're going to add a second rule, an and rule. Again, copy the filter to text from the description. When it is equal to, and this is going to be new item. And here, case is important. And then click OK. Now let's update our get groups module. We basically want to get all the groups in the board. I'm going to change this limit to 100. And we want to map the board ID, pull that in from the webhook, and click OK. Now this is bringing back all of the groups. And we only want to continue when we have the group that is the templates group. So we're gonna just put a description in there, get the group title, and we want that to make sure that is equal to two, two templates. Click OK. Now let's come in here and complete the setup for getting the template items. Again, I'm gonna change the limit here. This could be 100 or 1,000 or whatever is appropriate for your board. The board ID is gonna come again. Uh, we're gonna map that. And it's going to come again from the webhook data. 
the column ID to search value is uh, the name. We want to, and this needs to be lowercase. And then we're going to copy and paste again uh, our search items column value text. Paste that in, and then click OK. Now we want to make sure that we've got a valid template, and so we're going to change this filter, and we want to change it if everything's good or we've got a valid template. We're going to change this and we want to see if the total number of packets is greater than zero. Set this to zero and change this to greater than. There we go. And we're going to add, we want to make sure that it is in the proper group. So we're going to change and look for the group ID on the item that's returned. And we want to make sure that that is equal to the group that is coming through from the groups ID and click OK. Now on the delete, we only want this to occur on the first item. All right. So put in the description here and on the condition, we only want this to execute when the bundle order position is equal to one and click OK. All right. So now uh, we got the, the delete uh, filter correct. We need to delete, change this from archive to delete, and the ID we want is going to be coming in from the webhook module. Click OK. And um, to do the duplicate, uh, that's not defined in Integromat, so we're going to use the advanced UL query statement. Copy that from and paste it in, and then click OK. That's real simple. So we're just copying and pasting that in there. All right, now when we move the new item to the correct group, we want to take the board ID from, so we're gonna map this and we're gonna pull that in from the webhook. So we'll scroll down here and get the board ID. The item ID, we're gonna pull in from the video description again. That's the easiest way to do this. And then the group ID is again from the webhook. We're going to put it in the same place that we created our item. Click OK. All right. Now, the last thing, renaming the new item. Now, to do this the easiest, we're going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to select the board. It doesn't really matter. We'll pick the one that we're using, but it really could be anything because we just want to reference the name. We're going to copy the item again and paste that in there on the map of the item ID. And then we're gonna come down into the column values to change, and we're gonna add an item. Basically, we want to reference the name. So we're gonna click that, and then we're gonna pick name from the list of columns on the board. And the value, again, we're gonna copy and paste that from our video description. Click Add, and then we want to change the board ID now to being mapped. This will make it so that our scenario works again for any board. And click OK. So that's basically it. We are ready to test. So we're going to click Run once, flip back over to our Monday board, and type in our new item. So add, and then the module name we want to use, and then the name of the new item, new video. There. Okay, it's been added. Now it's going to delete it. It's going to copy the template, move it to this group, rename it. There it is. And now you'll see the sub items get updated. There we go. It worked. And there's all of our sub items. Very cool. So we're going to flip back here, save our scenario, and now we're going to set it to run. So we click down here and turn that to on. Uh, so now we're going to test adding it with the button. So we're adding a new item. Now it's actually already created the item. So what we're actually doing here is renaming. I can add the module name or the template name rather, and then the uh, name of the item 
that we want it to be. See if I can type right. Now it's going to delete it, it's going to copy it, move it to this group, and rename it. All that happened so fast we didn't even see it. Now there, there are the sub items, and everything is good. There we go. Congratulations on making it to the end. I said that there would be a bonus. There's actually two. First one is if you create your Integromat account using the affiliate link in the description, it can be a free account, that's okay. Um, I will give you a free hour of consulting. We'll do this for at least a week. Beyond that, I might change the description and tell you that it's no longer available, but we'll do it for at least a week. Second thing is, if you liked the functionality that we showed you and you don't want to go through all the typing, I'm going to offer a blueprint of this scenario for download on our website. Now you can only do it, get to it through the link that I'm going to show you. There'll be a QR code and a um, text link. If you want to type it in, that'll be fine too. Um, that'll be right after I'm, I'm done here. Okay. So if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel and you like what we're doing here, please subscribe, hit the bell icon then after that. And uh, if you wanna be notified of future videos. And if you do like this video, please hit the like button so we know what people are responding to. And lastly, uh, if there's anything in particular that you would like for us to cover in future videos, please put that in the description. We'd love to hear about it. All right, till next time, I'm Jim, the money man.